Put a finger down if you've ever cringed at someone online painting an antique piece of furniture. I wanted so badly to paint this 100 year old dresser, but the little voice in the back of my head stopped me from doing so and boy am I glad. I obviously love painted furniture, but there really is something special about stripping a piece down and letting the wood grain speak for itself. I paid $100 for this off of Facebook Marketplace and basically got right to it. This dresser has great bones overall and is in great condition for its age. I started off by sanding it down with a 100 grit, which took the finish off pretty easily. Then I worked my way all the way up with a 220 grit. Sometimes it can take a while to get the original finish off of a piece of furniture, but I'm so thankful that this was not one of those times. After about three hours of sanding it down, I took a step back and realized that some of the wood is more pink toned while other parts are more yellow toned. I decided to try bleaching wood for the first time and I was a little nervous, but it ended up being super easy and fun. Before I applied the bleach, I went in with my tack cloth to get rid of any remaining dust. You may think you can skip this step, but I find this absolutely crucial. There's nothing worse than having something get stuck in your finish, or in my case, not having it bleached properly. I got this wood bleach off of Amazon, and basically all you do is apply solution A with a clean sponge and make sure you completely saturate the wood. Let it sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes, then apply a solution B over top with a new sponge. I wasn't expecting huge results because this wood is already so light, but I was hopeful that the bleach would just even out the discoloration a bit before I moved on to staining. After letting this dry overnight, I went in with the 220 grit to smooth it out one more time, and I was super happy with the results. After sanding and bleaching this antique, it was time to give it a paint wash. I grabbed this new beige paint from Melange Paints and mixed it with some water to create a wash. I usually eyeball this step, but it ends up being around a 50-50 mixture. Then I grabbed my sanding pads, which are one of my new favorite products. They come in a sheet for you to cut off the desired amount, which I love. Then I singe the sides to prevent from any shedding. I love these sanding pads because they hold the perfect amount of product and leave the smoothest finish. They have a foam center and a microfiber outer layer, which is just the best combination. I'm using the double thick pad for the majority of the stressor. I applied the wash by wiping the rounded side with the product, then once the surface was covered completely, I used the dry side of the pad in one long stroke. I used to use old socks to apply washes and stains, so this was definitely an upgrade. As I was applying the paint wash, I knew the color I was giving was not my desired finish, so after letting the paint wash dry completely, I went over it with a darker stain to bring some warmth back to the dresser. If you remember from the beginning, one of the keyhole covers was broken, so I had to figure out how to cover those holes. I found these cool wood appliques on Amazon and figured let's try to stain them and make it look like they were always supposed to be here. I did the exact same process as the dresser. First I applied a paint wash, then I layered the darker stain over top. These were pretty hard to stain because of the small crevices, so eventually off camera I just poured the stain over them and wiped it all off that way. After letting the stain dry overnight, I raced to get a top coat on before it started raining. I really should get a tent to be able to spray inside of my garage. I'm using a satin top coat to give it a subtle sheen, but nothing too over the top. Then I forced myself to apply this beautiful wallpaper to the drawers. This is not an easy process. Then I added these new brass Amazon poles, and then it's complete. This antique dresser is ready to withstand another 100 years. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to check out the standing pads linked to my bio. Bye guys!